Good morning everyone, welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today I will share a devotion entitled Satan's Magnetism. Satan's Magnetism. I want to bring to you from 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. It says, The Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation, trials, testing, and to pre- and to reserve the unjust under punishment. For the day of judgment, you know, magnet is an is an amazing invention. Magnet come with different degrees of magnetism. Some are just strong enough for posting uh, photos on the refrigerator. Others are powerful enough to pick up a car, and the most powerful electromagnet on earth is in Tokyo. The last time the scientists tried to use it, it blew the doors of the building. You know, temptations, trials, and uh, struggles, difficulties are like magnets. They cast an attraction toward our sinful nature. Some are easier to resist while others feel nearly impossible to withstand. We can't imagine the temptation that Joseph felt as Potiphar's wife attempted to entice him or what Jesus endured as Satan tempted him in the desert. But the Bible says no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind and God is Faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear, but when you are tempted, He also provides a way out so that you can endure it. That's found in 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 13. When temptation grabs you in its force field, don't assume that you have to yield to it. Resist it in the power of the Spirit of God and with the weapons of Scripture. You know, temptation will come whether you not like it or not. Every day, there will be temptation that will come along in your life. And you and I will face temptation every day. But the question is not the temptation. Temptation is not a sin, but yielding to temptation is a sin. You know, many a times we say, oh, I can't take it because temptation come. They will come. They will come to the day you and I live to the last breath. It will come and they will come. But you and I don't have to yield to temptation. Sometimes we say it's so difficult. It's not the issue of so difficult. It's the issue to tell yourself, I have Jesus with me. I can overcome it. I can endure it. I can rise above it. I can be an overcomer because Jesus Christ lives in me. He is stronger. He is greater. With Him, I can. Amen? And temptation is like Satan's magnetism. So take care, be careful, resist it in the power of Jesus and use the scripture to speak against the devil when he tempts you. Amen. Russell Moore says, Temptation is so strong in our lives precisely because it's not about us. Temptation is an assault by the demonic powers on the rival empire of the Messiah. He attacked those who are in his kingdom. Why? Because he want to take over. Lives of people who come to know Jesus and the lives of the people in this world. Amen? So beware. Temptation is Satan's magnetism. So be careful. Amen? Jesus is able to help you. Amen. Father, bless our people with a great day. Protect over us. Help us give us strength, strength to endure when temptation do comes or trials do comes in our life. All this we pray in us in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and you have a great day.